I think that the more exposure, the more things we can do to surround ourselves with nature, either going out and finding it or bringing it into our homes, the easier it's going to be to start becoming an environmentalist. My name is Nick Katsumpas, also known as Farmer Nick on social media. I am a plant coach, urban gardener, landscaper, TV personality. For me, my content, I try and make it as relatable and also sometimes silly. In essence, if I can make someone who's watching remember, like, ooh, like, that guy made sense. Because of you, I bought a plant. Or because of you, I took out my lawn. Or because of you, I ate a vegan meal for the first time. That's progress to me. My mission is to give people the confidence and the knowledge they need to create their own green spaces in the pursuit of environmental action. So for me, it actually started right after college. I was living at home and my mom said, if you're gonna be living here rent free and working your corporate job, you gotta do something around the house. I was like, well, what do you want me to do? And she knew I loved food, she knew I loved being outside, and she said, why don't you start a garden? And I just became obsessed. That moment triggered the environmental aspect of this all, was like, wait, like, growing food is hard. How can this be translated to commercial farms or landscapes or plants in general? What role do they play in environmentalism? That's what started getting me involved in other environmental causes and adopting more of these own eco behaviors in my life. Plants are stepping stones towards sustainability. If I can convince you to put a houseplant on your desk, I'm convinced I can get you to care about the big plant we all live on. And it just starts with creating empathy and a connection. Because if you're living in a city like New York or Los Angeles, you might not have your feet touching grass for weeks or not months at a time. But if you have a plant that you can empathize with and care for and learn to nurture in that way, you're gonna view your connection to the outside world in a whole different way, and it leads to more behavior change. Whether that's shopping at the farmer's market, or cutting down on single-use plastics, or even going vegan, or whatever it might be. There are so many behaviors that kind of snowball after plant ownership. I a free snack. I think it started in New York with the urban farming movement, and being able to see these farms popping up in the middle of the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, and seeing the value that just that tiny space could provide for the surrounding community, both from a safe green space, food producing area, a place for them to gather. Seeing that made me realize, okay, how can I support at the regional and local level some of these different organizations, while at the same time using the platform to make bigger companies change. The farm is growing. These tomatoes look incredible. I decided to actually throw, throw down another line. Did you? We were doing like single stem tomatoes and then I said, let's try doubling the production. Alma is amazing for so many reasons. Number one, it is a food producing oasis for the community. And the fact that they can grow healthy, delicious food that is affordable for the community in an area that they may not have access to the same quality of produce you might get at a conventional grocery store is game changing. On top, of, <laughs> on top of that, it serves as a safe green space for families to come with their kids. And the third component, which I love, is just their level of social activism. So they hire previously incarcerated individuals for job training and working on the farm so that they have an avenue once they are released from the prison system. So we move beyond it just being a place where you have the transaction of food. There's just tremendous impact that happens with farming, especially urban farming here in Los Angeles. We're reminding people of our rich history the culture around making a positive impact and doing something good for the environment and the people in that environment, there, there is truly nothing better. It's funny, growing up my mom used to say, slow down Nick. That was the theme of my life, slow down. You're doing too much, you're moving too fast. And plants are the only thing that can slow me down. My mindset and my mental health, it just feels so clear when I'm surrounded by plants. There's so many new innovations and technologies that can come and help solve some of these problems, but at the same time, the oldest technology in the world is just plants, right? They're amazing. They can do everything that we need them to do. Everything that is a monumental change has to come in baby steps. To me, a change maker is someone who is doing something. 
taking action, not just talking about it, resharing memes, like you are doing something. I want to be able to buy land and work the land and really do more in terms of experimentation, education, hosting people, retreats, rescue animals. That's really important to me. If I can be a role model for, for young boys and young men growing up to know that, hey, you can grow a beard, you can lift weights, you can bro out with the boys and still be like, hey, dude, check out my ficus. It's sick. Yo, my garden's awesome right now. You want this tomato? Like, that's what I want. That's what I want. Motivate yourself, inspire others. Because truthfully, I'm in a position of privilege. And if I'm not using the benefits that come with my privilege to do something positive, then I feel like I've wasted my time.